Next up, we already covered this, but I wanted to uh, make one point. MicroStrategy outperforms the NASDAQ after 175 million Bitcoin purchase. So what's going on here? So if you're unfamiliar with MicroStrategy, not too long ago, this little billion dollar company, they bought 21,000 plus Bitcoin in August of 2020, this year. And that was about 250 million. They now own 0.1% of all Bitcoin. With this new purchase, they probably own 0.2. The CEO stated that Bitcoin is digital gold, harder, stronger, faster, and smarter than any money that has ever preceded it, which is a vast difference to what he said in 2013, where he said that Bitcoin is dead. Amazing what seven years will do. And uh, I think this is exactly what's going to happen with a lot of people out there. They're going to you know, just talk about Bitcoin like it's just nerd money and it's never going to work to all of a sudden you see big, huge players like MicroStrategy like a Paul Tudor Jones, like a Fidelity, like a TD Ameritrade, and the list goes on and on and on. So this is what's happening. So what happened recently, MicroStrategy bought another 175 million in Bitcoin. And what happened when they did that was that their stock rose over 9% as the CEO revealed what had happened. So what this says to me is that it's not just the CEO that thinks this is a good idea. It's the shareholders who say, you know what? This is great for us. This is great for the company. And we believe in cryptocurrency. Maybe they're opening their eyes like everybody else out there. So I think when you can increase your percentage, your stock price by 9% by buying in a Bitcoin, you got a lot of believers than just upper management. Anyhow, moving down. This is uh, Michael Saylor. He's the CEO. And just to verify, he states, on September 14th, MicroStrategy completed its acquisition of almost 17,000 additional Bitcoins at a price of $175 million. To date, we have purchased over 38,000 Bitcoins at a purchase price of $425 million, inclusive of fees and expenses. And there's two things to note here. So MicroStrategy's move seemed to have pleased market participants like we just talked about. While the company's stock jumped over 9%, the NASDAQ composite set at just over 1% gain. So they are beating out NASDAQ. And lastly, MicroStrategy intention was capital preservation with company CEO Michael Saylor saying of their first Bitcoin bet, the cryptocurrency was, get this, a dependable store of value and an attractive investment asset with more long-term appreciation potential than holding cash, which only makes sense. Cash will have inflation and will decrease by 2%, or inflation will cause 2%, which decreases the purchasing power. And with Bitcoin, it goes the exact opposite way. So my question to you is, which one would you rather have in the bank? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on.